Juanita Bynum has some strange theology, absolutely demonic, it's unbiblical. Now, I'm not trying to be a hater, man. Like, I come against false doctrines, and this is not only false, but this is deception. She makes it seem like Eve eating the fruit is a good thing, or it, it blessed woman or helped woman or it it enabled them to be big enough to receive God. Just listen to this teaching. It it's it's mind-boggling. Listen. Can I reveal the secret? The dragon hates you from Genesis. Because the dragon, Satan, because he came from God, he prophesied to Eve. And he said, the Lord know when you eat it, you will have a gross man like God. God. He knows. Number one, God, uh, Satan did not prophesy to Eve. He deceived her. He, ma he manipulated God's words. There was no prophecy. He, he just lied to her. When you, when you, when you eat this, <laughs> that's why God use the woman to bring the savior back into the world because the woman ate the fruit and it did expand her so you big enough now to carry God so you're big enough now to carry God so she's trying to make something good out of what happened in the garden with the, with the with the discussion between Adam and Eve the sin I don't see anything here of it being wicked and evil and it started the fall of man, but she's saying what happened, it expanded Eve and stretched her and made her mind like God where she, where women now have the ability to, oh my God. Oh, no, I just said something right. I said you big enough to carry God. You powerful enough to carry the son of the living God. You better open your mouth and give God a prayer. I don't know about you, but I'm a woman and I want all of my benefits. I'm a woman and I want all of my benefits. So she's telling us that there were benefits with what happened with Eve and Satan in the garden. That when she ate the apple, her, her mind began to become like God and she was stretched she or she was not big enough and everyone's jumping let, let, let me listen to this again because hold on let me listen to this again can i reveal the secret the dragon hates you from genesis because the dragon, Satan, because he came from God, he prophesied to Eve and he said, the Lord know when you eat it, you will have a gross man like God. Now, one thing I want to say here is that it's not he, he didn't come from God. He was casted down. He was exiled from God. So I don't want it to make it seem like he was like, a servant of God. He didn't come from God. He, he fell from, he fell from heaven. He got exiled. He knows when you, when you, when you eat this. Yeah. <laughs> That's why God used the woman to bring the savior back into the world. Because the woman ate the fruit and it did expand her. Now this teaching is demonic. So the reason why God used the woman to bring forth a savior is because the woman became expanded because she ate the fruit. God would have to use a woman anyway because the woman is the mother of all living. Eve was the mother of all living and woman can only give birth. This right here is demonic. So you big enough now to carry God. No, I just said something right. I said you big enough to carry God. You powerful enough to carry the son of the living God. You better open your mouth and give God a prayer. I don't know about you, but I'm a woman and I want all of my benefits.
everyone is saying glory. The Bible says this in Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Therefore, just as sin entered the, the world through one man and death through sin, and in this way, death came to all people because all sinned. So we have to understand that it was through one man, through one person, that sin entered the, the, the whole world. But she's trying to talk about benefits. Eve was deceived, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13. But I'm afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and, pr and pure devotion to Christ. Now, y'all got to understand something. I I'm not trying to hate, but this is demonic. And I know there's certain leaders out there that they're posting subliminal messages. I see them in the comments. I see their posts. It's like, I understand where y'all coming from because y'all may not see it and y'all don't understand what God has me doing right now. But like, th this is wrong. And I will continue to call it out. And I don't, I don't care about subliminal messages. I don't care who says my name. I don't care. Right? I don't care. These are not, these are not the people that sow into my life. They don't pray for me. They don't, they don't hit me up. You know, and I, I just, I'm so fixated on what God calls me to do. And I cannot sit here and hear all this stuff being preached and watch all these other leaders remain silent. They may not feel like they need to say anything. But if we never say anything, people will be bewitched into believing that there were benefits in eating the forbidden fruit. This is why... I, this is why sometimes it's okay to be, I'm not, I'm not, sometimes God will call you to be alone. And when you're alone, you're not lonely. You're just separate. Because when you have certain people in your life and you're, if you're in certain circles, it can hinder what God wants to do in your life to unravel wickedness. You understand me? And those of you that follow this channel, this is not all that we do. I have a whole different channel separate for Teaching, prayer, and deliverance, Abednego Lufa Ministries. You can go to that. You can go to that uh, and benefit from those teachings and deliverances and prayers and whatnot. Um, I have two different channels, all right? So, anyways, guys, I just, it's just, this is just insanity. It's called Doctrines of Demons.